Hey there, folks. My name is Deja, and welcome back to Cognition. Okay, um, why don't we check out... Um, let's go to the morgue and see what we can find out about the body. And we'll have this guy uh, take a look at this thing. Jeez, there's no need to be so loud, Reed. Alright, so let's give him... Uh, I'll talk to him, I guess, and then give him the, the toy thing, too. Isn't it cozy here? The Erica! Seriously! No that accent is getting nope. stronger and All stronger. Ah, good. I can talk you up some romance, then. Terrence, you're my one true love. No joke. Okay. Any luck I, 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 I can't get over that now. I can't, I can't, I can't get past Not it. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always That's find really something. really weird. So they knew exactly what they were doing. What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. I... I found something I'm on not, the antique. I'm just, I'm just gonna, way. I'm just gonna Still pretend means. that it's been there the whole yeah. time. It's and it's a creepy toy from the yeah. 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around. No, it was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. Okay. How's how's working at the morgue? So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. There you go. Have fun. Goodbye. See you later. Alligator. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Sure. Why not? See you later. Ah, child. Okay, anyway. Agent Reed. Gallagher? Hi. Okay, so we'll be able to desk. Where's that coming from? The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. Well, probably a good idea. Where's the radio? Another solitary gurney, ready for another sorry John Doe. Okay, anyway. Well, let's go take a look. <clears throat> See what we can find here. Hi. I don't need that right now. No? Okay. Gallagher prefers her old style tape recorder. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Tools of the coroner's trade. All right. Cool. Oh, how about we talk to Gallagher? How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Why is this like stomach protruding so much? It's like it's like literally like here's his chest and then zoom, there's his stomach. So what have you found? Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of Look the at substance. That. It's in like his a freaking body. mountain. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. I'll have more info on it later. I could like I is could just anything? I'd have trouble I'd have a trouble climbing that thing in Skyrim. It was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. It's like the thing in Skyrim, you have to like go Whatever side to side until you find that one little spot. By the friction of the skin I should probably be paying attention. Like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever Revelation. Did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. Alright, good to know. Okay. Victim's death. Oh, I wonder if, can I access that? No. Okay. You're certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? 
After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst, but the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that okay. happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with a lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. Okay. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. Jeez. How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 minutes and an hour. Ugh. Ugh. Blah. Any identification? Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, of course. Agent Reed. Jeez. I know how to do my job. We set a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's gonna take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. Probably. Alright. How's life treating you, Gallagher? <laughs> I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they Great. Done permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Okay. Let's do this. Or not. Let me exit. And then try it. There we go. I don't think I'll get more than what I saw last night already. Fine. And Gallagher won't be happy about me touching the body. Fine. All right. Cool. Whatevs. We'll, we'll, we'll move on. All right. It's really not the body so much as the death that makes this place so depressing. Okay. Anyway. Oh, those are hints. All right, let's go back to the elevator. Make a break for it, Gal uh, Reed. <laughs> I wanted to say Gallagher. Gallagher. I'm not. E I'm not even going to try to attempt a Boston accent. Nope. Not even going to try because it would be nothing but an embarrassment. Not even gonna try it. Not even gonna try. Nope. You can't make me either. You will not make me. Don't try it. I don't want to see comments. Hey! I want to see- I want to hear your Boston accent. Because it's not happening. Oh, the cemetery. Oh, okay. Is, is it imperative that I go to the cemetery right now? No? Okay, it's just being added. Alright. Well, um, let's go to the uh, antique shop. I'm not ready to head back there yet. Oh, okay. Let's go to the crime scene, see if there's anything new that we can dig up, if anything at all. Ah, yes, that's right, I can actually right. go to here. Now that it's quiet, I should see if I can use these visions of mine to find more clues. Exactly. The graffiti, we couldn't access that. So we're going with that one. Jesus. That's, like, terrifying when that happens. What the hell is going on? All right, let's just take a look at it in general. Why is there just green paint here? There isn't. There's something underneath it. Uh, no. Let's see if I don't know why. This is not going to work with yeah. this. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I can't use the ladder. Roof access. Let's the go. Roof up. is a dead end. I don't need to go up. Are you sure? Are you sure? I would check anyway. The killer used this table to help raise the victim up. Right, okay. I don't think we can do anything. Barrel. I'm not sure what's in this barrel, but it was here prior to the murder. Okay, fine. The stuff on this shelf has been gathering cobwebs for a while. Alright. I don't think I can do anything. I think I prob pipes. Ooh. The pipes go to other areas of the building. Okay, alright. The noose. They left the noose here? Terrence is getting sloppy. All right, I guess, uh... There's really not much else to do here. I guess I guess we won't go to the crime. I guess we'll go to the cemetery, because it doesn't seem like there's much we can do at the crime scene right now without our visions being controllable. So we'll head to the cemetery, see if maybe that helps control the visions. 
I don't know why they would, but we'll see. Damn, I forgot to bring flowers. It's alright, you got flowers here, so... These are pretty flowers. I'm sure no one will miss it if I take one. Really? Whose grave? In the loving memory of Maximilian. That's not very nice. No, we're not gonna take one. Are you are you serious? No. Dad decided we should bury Scott in the same place he died, instead of where Mom is buried. I never asked him why, but I didn't want to deny him anything. He was so broken. Well, let's, uh... Oh, boy. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I forgot to bring him some flowers. Way to go, Erica. Really? Are... Really? You're gonna make me... Fine. Uh, I'm sorry, Maximilian. I hope you don't mind. This is terrible. But no one will miss it. I hope. Really? Okay. And walk right over it. Yep, yep. <laughs> hey, Scotty. How are you, baby bro? I'm sorry it's been a while. Oh, look at this place. It's a mess. Freaking leaves everywhere. I wish I could say I have a great lead on your case, but Davies closed it. There's nope. nothing I can do about it. And this thing that I've got is still out of control. Well, how are you? How are things on the other side? <laughs> I'll come more often and I'll bring Dad next time. I promise. And I'll keep this promise. Okay. Alright. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Yes? I don't mean to be rude, but you took the flowers from my brother's grave. <sighs> oh, I'm so... Uh, yeah, that, uh... <laughs> don't sweat it. I couldn't help but overhear what you were saying. You lost your brother too? Yeah. I'm wicked sorry. Wicked sorry. I'm Erica. And wicked I'm sorry. Cordelia. I'm sorry. God I'm damn it. Cordelia. I'll pay for it. Ah. <laughs> I keep <laughs> forgetting to go funny. offline. It was just funny. It was so uh. natural. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> so sneaky. Oh, yes. Well, I'm known for that. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt. Wink. Wink, wink, ha ha, wink, wink, yeah, yeah. Hang on. <sighs> Offline. Okay. I keep forgetting to do that. Ah, okay. Um, anything else to do while I'm here? No? Okay. Max, grave, headstones, headstones. Alright. Oh, why don't we talk to her? Probably not a bad idea. Hey there. Hi, Erica. Uh. You look familiar to me. That wouldn't surprise me. I hang around here a lot. Sometimes I even sneak in at night. Oh. <laughs> really? Wow. That's dedication. <laughs> sure, we'll I call take it care that. Of family business. Max was an ace at it. He would always tell me what to do. So I still come here to talk to him. I don't talk the issues through myself, I guess. I see you do the same with Scott. Is that it? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be intrusive. Yes, yeah, Scotty. I don't come here as often as I would like, though. But I must have seen you here before. When did your brother die? About six years ago. Scotty died three years ago. <laughs> Has it gotten better? A little. It's not so much the years that pass, but that you learn to accept it. And that's always the hardest part. Scotty was murdered. I'll only rest when I put whoever killed him behind bars. Jeez. Are you the cop? Yes. FBI. And yeah, that's what makes it even harder to accept. 
<laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll I see you later. Well, hey, you seem alright. If you ever want to hang out, you can probably find me around here. Alright, good to know. <laughs> I've never been asked to hang out in a cemetery before. Uh, maybe in high school. We can go somewhere else. You know, as morbid as it sounds, the cemetery is fine. We can be close to them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. There we go. It was nice meeting you. You too. Or not. <laughs> we won't say you too. Hey, Erica, you dropped this. What'd I drop? Rose? You know her? Yes. She took a lot of the pain away. Are you seeing her? D D I'm trying to figure out if I want to. Kind of, maybe. You should. She's really something special. Okay, then. Hmm. Thanks. Guess we'll go see her next, then. Let's get out of here. Granted, it will let me, of course. We'll see if it'll let me now. Alright, so let's go take a look and see what Rose has to say. Alright, we can go there now. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna see what happens. And that'll probably... It might roll us into the end of the episode. There's a box back there! Are those a box of donuts? There you are, my I can dear. take those. I'm not too thrilled about it, but yeah. Here I am. I can take those to you know who. I the donut box. These donuts look tasty. Uh -huh. John would be all over them. Yeah. Take a couple donuts. Can I take one? Do me a favor, child, and take all of them. They're going to go to waste, and I hate throwing food away. All right, cool. Do you always have donuts for your customers? They used to love them, been doing it for years. But now, they're not as popular anymore. Makes me sad. Oh. Alright, well, I'll take those with me. <laughs> let me just, let me just stick them in my coat pocket here. This entire box. Okay, there we go. We're all set to go then. Yep, alright. Well, now I can talk to you now that I have a chest pocket full of donuts. <laughs> Hey, I love it. Yes, That's so name? good. That's so good. All right. I've had the time to think about. Oh, that's so funny. About this. Pew! It's like the Jetsons plane. It like folds into a briefcase. How do you know about that? Many of my customers ask the same questions. You do not believe in the crystal ball. Neither do some of them. Sometimes we mock what most haunts us. All right. I'm getting tired of this runaround. If you want me to be upfront with you, why don't we start by you telling me what you know, and then we can take it from there. Okay. Very well. What do you want to know? What, what do you know? What do you know about this stuff? You remind me of myself. I used to be as inquisitive as you are. <clears throat> I wanted to know it all. The very last detail of uh, yeah, everything. Like that. And sometimes I ask more than maybe I should. Yep, have. yep. But I don't regret my life or the places it took me. This store here is living proof of where I've been and who I am. Are you going to answer my question? You are what some Jeez. people call a scion. A what? A scion. Listen, I'm telling you what you want to know. But in return, I'm going to have to ask you to let go a wee bit. To hear the stories. To let me help. If you won't let me help, there's nothing I can do. Okay. I'm a little uncomfortable. I feel really uncomfortable talking about my visions. You have been using them, have you not? I have, but... So what is the big deal? This is something that you have. Embrace it because it is a part of you, and it will not go away. Fair enough. All right. Until a few days ago, I seemed to have some control of it. But now, it's just... It's very painful now when I try to use it. Sometimes I see myself... Things that have... Premonitions. Hmm. Is that bad? No. But... I wonder, why is it happening? Before, you always saw the past? Yes. Maybe you are evolving. Like what? a Pokemon! If you can see the past in ways no one else can, is it so strange that you should start seeing the future as well? That would be amazing. Her hair is going to get longer. Something happened to She's going to get, like, Some taller. Sort of 
My boss closed a case. Grow a tail. I wasn't ready. Be able to shoot lightning. Let us put this vision of yourself aside for now. Yeah. Let us focus on your ability to see the past. Are you ready for some training with Mama Rose? <laughs> that sounds like it could be like a TV show. Training with Mama Rose. It's time. Are you ready for <laughs> training with Mama Rose? Hey! Today we begin. Okay, anyway. I'm ready. Very well. Tell me how you use your power. I. I touch something and it happens. Good. You are not afraid to use this power to your advantage. That doesn't make me feel like less of a freak. It is an amazing gift, my dear. Never forget that. Now I'm going to teach you a neat oh, trick. Oh, projection, huh? I like to call this projection. With it, you will be able to extract the memories from a place to see the events from the time you wish. Whoa. Places have memories? There's energy. That's a lot, a lot of text. Okay. Here we, we go. Learn how to tap onto it. Well, there will be no one that can hide a secret from you. Sweet. Now, we probably shouldn't be doing this. But what the heck? It'll be more interesting for you. Your friend Jean came here a long while ago. I want you to go back to one of the days he was here. For that, we're going to need something from him. A very personal item he holds on to all the time. The rest we will find here. So I gotta... So you want me to go get something personal from him? Something he would have carried three years ago. Three Won't years this ago, okay. Friend. Yes, my dear. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go see if we can... F I'm gonna get going. Goodbye, my dear. I don't think we have anything in our inventory that would course. Whoa! I accidentally clicked out of the game. My bad, guys. My bad. I'm getting back in. I'm going back in. I'm going back in. I'm getting where? What? No. Put get me back in the game. Get me back in the game. I can't get back in the game. Get back in the game. Get back in the game. Where's the game? Where's the game? Get the game back up. I will be right back. All right, I am back. The autosave put me all the way back at the cemetery, so I had to go through all that stuff again. Anyway. What is it that I need from John? Something personal. Something he would have carried three years ago. Okay, then. Well, I'm gonna get let's going. go. Uh... Goodbye, my dear. All right, I'm going to try this again. I'm not going to click out of the game. I don't have anything on me. A <laughs> box of donuts. <laughs> will a box of donuts suffice? Uh, that's funny. No, he wouldn't have. He, no, they haven't been carrying. He hasn't been carrying them for carrying it for three years. All right, downtown. Here we go. And we'll go back to HQ. Okay. John, <laughs> here we go. I'm so ready to do this. Here we go. I'm. I get it. I'm. Okay. I'm. I'm. I'm making my way. Making my way downtown, walking fast. This is. <laughs> John, I'm coming to see you. Hang on. Uh, get it. I'm almost there. I don't. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. How's it going? Hey, buddy. Oh. You want some donuts? I got some I don't donuts. Have a to do that now. But I have donuts. The Ooh. guy doesn't go anywhere without that thing. A present from his dad or something like that. Ooh. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Red? Nothing. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. I'm just going to borrow this for a second. Can I borrow your lighter? Red, no one touches the lighter but me. Yeah, but it would really help me out. No. All right, John. I followed your advice yesterday, went to see Rose, sucked it up, and cooperated. Now I need your lighter so that Rose can help me. And you are going to let me borrow it. 
Damn. You put it like that. Fine. Wow. Oh, okay. Fine. Do you want some donuts? Thank you, John. I'll bring it back. You better. Do you want some donuts? I'll give you some donuts in the meantime. I don't have a reason to do that now. What are you talking about? He wants donuts. Give him freaking donuts. Okay. Guess we're not gonna be giving him donuts. All right. See you later, John. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> okay. Everybody's watching. You're like, what on earth is she doing? <laughs> All right. Parking garage. We'll go back to see Rose. That's just too funny. That's too funny. I can't pass that opportunity up. I just, I gotta do it. All right. Back to Boston overview. Also, important note to make. For you guys to know, this game is actually made in Unity, which is pretty awesome. Come on, come over here. Fine. Okay. I am here. Don't start the trading without me. Hello, my dear. All right, I have, I have the. What? Oh, do I have to get it out done. first? All right. Goodbye, my dear. Let me get it out of my inventory without clicking out of the game. Oh, got it. I found what we need. John never lets go of this. This is perfect. Ooh. I will leave this here. Ooh. Now, let us start with this object alone. Close your eyes. Okay. okay. I want you to picture every item in this place oh, as if they were people, as if they had minds that contain memories. Okay. Concentrate on this room. And this room only. Okay. I just... I don't... Concentrate. I'm trying... <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Whoa. What's happening? Whoa. What can you see? I can see this room, but I can... It's hard to explain. I see things that... Concentrate on those things. Now I want you to separate them and break them apart, one by one. Okay. I want you to single out the memories that were attached to Jean when he was. To Jean? Jean or Jean or Jean? You will with a bit He's of not French. Your friend always sat by the crystal ball table, and there is a particular place in here he loved to hang around. <laughs> but you probably know what that is. For this to work. You need to focus on three things. The last being this item you brought from him. Focus on them. Okay. You must select three objects from the screen and then press your cognition sphere to finish the process. If you select the wrong objects, the screen will flash red. To deselect an item, simply press on it again. If you need clues, exit cognition mode by pressing the X. So, the crystal ball, the table, and the lighter. Boom. John? Come hey. on, John. Don't be scared. If you're seeing him, he's not fully real. But you can still interact Got with him, him in a way. Sometimes that's what you do with these projections. <clears throat> fill in the holes, you know? Other times, just seeing them will be enough for your goal. That's pretty cool looking. How's it going? This is... As much as I hate to say it, this is pretty cool. Use it well, and never be afraid of it. Do you see it too? Thank you, Rose. No? Okay. You have now mastered projection. When, that's, when usable, you'll be able to select three different objects from the environment before you can focus your power. Sometimes you can aid your environment by adding items to it so that you have the necessary requirements. Hey, okay. Cool. All right, then. Is that all I needed, then? Hello, Rose. Hello, my dear. Yeah, is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. I'm gonna get going. We're gonna get Goodbye, going, and that dude. will be the end of the episode as well. So, we're actually going to save our case here. And. Whoop. Two. Save.
All right, so that'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. You guys will make this channel happen, and I thank you very much for that. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.